so I had to dress up for this occasion because it's official. I'm officially launching the next unicorn startup that's heading towards a trillion dollar acquisition from Amazon. This app is called Convene. And if you want to join me on this road to a trillion dollar acquisition, make sure you stay till the end because I'll tell you how. So the first step of any unicorn startup is you have to identify a problem. And the problem I have found is that reading with friends is too dang complicated. So I have a little book club that I'm part of with some friends and we have four, sometimes five people joining in that book club. And there's a lot of things that need to be kept track of. You need to keep track of what book you're reading, what's the next book, who picks the next book, what our thoughts are about previous books that we read, What's the group's favorite book? Maybe where to join the video call for the book club review. Maybe some statistics about what our book club enjoys reading and what's the favorite book that the book club read. Things like that. Now you might imagine how big of a mess it is to try and keep track of all that stuff. We use Google Keep to keep track of when the next meeting is. We use Google Sheets to keep track of some minimal stats. We use Google Duo for the calls. And then we have a text message group where we discuss all the other things that are necessary. Usually what happens, at least every other book club, Someone forgets to join the video call for the book review. They might have not finished the book at all. And other times they might forget to pick the next book. Overall, it's just one big mess. Now, if you are into reading, you've probably heard of this app called Goodreads. Now, Goodreads pretty much owns a monopoly on all the book related apps on the app store. But in my opinion, it's absolutely garbage. Okay, okay, that might be a bit harsh. I'm sure the app is great for finding new books, seeing what books your friends are reading, and things like that, but I don't really care about that stuff. I like to see stats, I like to see what I thought about the books that I've already read, and I want something to help facilitate my book club. And Goodreads doesn't do that very well. So now that we have identified the problem, the next step is we have to confirm the problem because we could think of the problem and we might be the only one in the world that has this. So we need to go out and do research, see if other people have this problem and see if it's a valid business idea. And then if it is, we need to go search the market, see if there's anything like this already there, if there is, how we can improve it, and things like that. So I created a survey for the first part, and I'll let the results speak for themselves. So we got 54 responses, and look how unorganized everything is. So the first question was, where do you keep track of when your book club is? We got Discord, Google Calendar, Facebook events, text messages, iCal, Nowhere, and we have a couple people that said sometimes they use Goodreads, but you see Goodreads isn't even the only one they use. How, where do you choose when your book club is? Again, people have a lot of different ways of doing this, but it doesn't seem like any of them are perfect. Most of them choose by either rotating the people or have some sort of group vote. But I can imagine both of those scenarios being a little difficult to organize. For example, who picks the next book if you're going in a rotation or how to actually vote on all the books together. What kind of data do you keep? So everybody pretty much keeps a history of the books they read and some ratings and reviews that they had the book about the books and notes and then some highlights. So this is the part where I think it makes sense to have tracking for your own books as well because a lot of people are curious about this, but I also have like a group tracking of all this stuff too so you can see what other people thought about the book and things like that. Do you keep track of books outside of the book club? Almost everybody said yes. And this was my favorite question. What is the frustration of your current book club process? Finding time to meet, making sure everybody can attend, no forum or discussion or place to collect our ratings, picking books, facilitate deeper discussion, keeping notes of other members' thoughts and ideas. Memory organization, unorganized with so many people. Not as much structure as we would like. As you can see, this is a real problem within the reading community. But the biggest thing is it's a problem with no real solution. So we of course have Goodreads. This is the big play in the game, but like we discussed, it's not too great. But it has over 10 million installs. And now the second biggest app for this is called Book Clubs. First, it doesn't look too great, but whatever, we'll give them a break. But it only has 10,000 installs. So Goodreads compares to 10 million, and this is only at 10,000. And there's Byzance, which I actually don't mind. I don't think it's bad. But again, it only has like 10,000 installs. So there's a huge piece of the market still left for something like this. And if you see other people working on something like this, that means it's actually a real problem. And I mean, we could go through. There's some nitpicks I have about Byzance too that I would do a little bit different. But, but the main point is people are trying to solve this problem, but there's nothing that solves it right. So as we've seen, this is a real problem within the reading community, and there's really nothing out there that solves this well and in a very simple way. So we have a confirmed problem with no real great solution. Now, how do we solve this? It's pretty simple. We just build the next unicorn startup and have a trillion dollar acquisition from Amazon. Now, for those of you that have been following me along for a while, you'll probably remember that I built something like this about a year ago. I have a whole tutorial series that's about 25 videos long about building a book club app from scratch, but I never ended up releasing it. Even though it was a good learning experience and people that are new to Flutter, I think it's a great way to pick it up of how to build real projects. There was still a lot of things that needed to be done in order for the app to be released. 
There's a lot of error handling and stuff like that. And you probably heard a quote that goes something like, the last 10% of the project takes about 50% of the time. And with the crazy release schedule that I had, I think it was either two videos or one video a week with a full-time job, it just wasn't something that I could accomplish. Now, when I revisited the app just a couple weeks ago, it hadn't been updated to Flutter 2.0 or anything. So there was a lot of cleanup needed to do just to get the app working again. And also since that year, I've learned a ton about project structure and how to handle all this stuff within Flutter and how to maybe organize things a little bit better. And there was also a couple things that I didn't really like how I did the first time. So I decided to start fresh with a new approach. So the new approach was to start with something super simple, narrow down the scope of it, and just get something released to the app. Then get feedback from users of different things they would like to see and build out the project the way the customers would like to see it. So then I got to doing some design work and big shout out to Robert who built the whole design for me in Figma. Here's a quick sneak peek of the design and I think it looks, it looks pretty good. Robert actually made a whole video about how he made my less than stellar design into this more beautiful and better looking design. So definitely take a look at that in the description. And then after that, I got a very basic version that's just a simple book tracker release on both the Play Store and the App Store. And now before you go and download it, I have two disclaimers. So the first thing you'll notice that there's nothing about book clubs within the application. That's because we're narrowing down the focus, going with the very basics that we need to have a working application. And the very core of book clubs is still tracking books. So to make sure we have the very core piece of this application working right, we gotta make sure tracking is easy, simple, and works with flawlessly. And even though the main focus of this application is going to be book clubs, we still want to have the feature where people could track their own readings as well. And a little side note, I think even the tracking Goodreads doesn't do so well. You have to click through like three screens in order to enter any of that stuff. The goal here is right when you open the app, it'll be all right there, your status of all the books you're reading. You'll be able to either swipe or update the data right in there and it should be very smooth and a nice workflow. So once again, this tracking is gonna be a very core part of what the book club is going to be about. So that's why that's the only thing there right now. Now the app might be a little bit buggy because there's not much error handling there. And the reason for this was to create a quality CSCD workflow to automate the whole deployment process. And this will allow us to have quick and easy ways to update the applications. And you might be wondering why out of all the things is that the main thing you focused on? And that's where we get to the part where you have the ability to join this project. Now the vision I have for this project is a lot bigger than I can just handle by myself. You don't just build a unicorn application with only one person. So I'm reaching out to anybody that is interested to join me in being part of this unicorn startup. Now, now huge disclaimer, this is not a job. I don't have any money to pay you but I do have equity and income plan and a marketing funnel. My big idea and sales pitch is to have a point-based equity distribution. So 40% of the equity of Convene will be distributed to the people that contribute to the project and it will be based on how much contributions they make. So points will be assigned to different tasks of various sizes. And in the end, the equity would be split up between all the people who have gathered all the points. But let me put my serious hat on for a second. I know throughout this video, I joked about like a trillion dollar acquisition. That's obviously a sarcasm. And there's a very high likelihood that that equity percentage might be nothing. But this project is something that I believe in and something that I think people will use. So I wanna make sure that anybody that's excited and actually does a lot of work on this gets some of the rewards if it is become successful. All right, seriousness over. So if this is something you are actually interested in, there's a link in the description for a convenient application. And the way I see it, there's only two real outcomes. First, Convene is super successful. We IPO in 24 months and sell to Amazon for a trillion dollar acquisition and you get a percentage of that. Or two, the app doesn't get any traction, but we had a fun time, hopefully learn something about Flutter, hopefully learn something about working with people in a project. And we have an app that at least we can use with our friends. 